everyone, it's GamerCat09, and welcome to another throwback of us venturing through Clock Tower 3 again. So, I know I said this like 40 times already to the chat. Well, by 40 I mean 2. But, my original plan to return to this tonight was to play clear mode, but unfortunately I lost my save because my memory card got corrupted, so I no longer have a save for Clock Tower 3, so that means we have to start all over again. But that's okay, because I love this game, and it's such a good game, and it's worth every single moment to replay, and it's not, like, unbeatable. But, um, several months ago, I promised Hikaru when he returned that I'd play this for him. So here we are. So let's begin! Let's return back to the second Let's Play I ever played on this channel. So, let's see how much I remember. I remember being terrified when I first got this game because I got this game for my 15th birthday. Tessa, how have you been? I think of you every day. Do you really? It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. Yeah, thanks for sending me off, Mom. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you, and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please... Go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mom! Mom. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mom! Mom! Answer me! Stupid girl! Why'd you go home? Mom! I'm back! <laughs> if I was mom, be like, You fucking idiot! Go away! Mom! Oh, that good music. Mum's the word. A boo. Boo. Her her her. Um, excuse me. Why are you the fuck are you in are my you house? The yes, I am. Oh. I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back. At all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! Perv. <laughs> that would be the point I'd walk out of the house. Just saying. Just be like, yeah, I'm gonna go call the police right now. <laughs> oh, suddenly I don't have a bag or anything. Look at that. I don't think there's anything in here, so... Oop. That's a save point. We don't need that right now. Is it this? Hmm, that's a seal. No, no. What are you doing? Oh, okay, so... S I'm pressing circle like I'm playing Outbreak. 
and circle crouches, so. Okay. <laughs> Stupid girls, tricks are for kids. Yeah, this is where the costumes would be. Oh, there's a thingy. I shall take you. Lavender water. So. And there's our stuff. Files. Obviously we don't have any. Oh yeah, triangle goes back. Okay. Cordial distilled from beautiful purple flowers alleviates... No. Alleviates panic. Why is there a down arrow? Why can't I figure that? Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Select opens up the map? No. Oh, when you're in the... Then you hit select. Okay. <laughs> Everyone probably remembers my quotes better than I do. I don't really remember that much. Not a speck of dust Mum must have cleaned for me. Okay, there's a thing here. That's locked. The lodgers won't be coming back for a while. Oh wait. Can't I put this out? I remember being able to put this out. Something. Hmm. Oh, I think we have to check the door. Yeah. And then it's like, no. And then we come back and then it... And then it goes out. The panic meter! Yep. If she's attacked while in panic, she will die. Always keep an eye on the panic meter. Okay. And then fire? There we go. There we go. Whoosh. I don't know why, but that granite underneath the fireplace looks like carpet. <laughs> it's a little it's a little silly looking. Oh god, camera. The wall behind the fireplace is falling apart. Who would have thought there was a hidden room in here? Bleeding statue. <coughs> oh, does her panic meter go up now? No! No panic meter problems now. That looks like a bottle and a letter down there. And a bloody face. Nancy's letter. Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully, but if, uh, but if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house like a fucking moron. For your protection, I am giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. You put it in the eyes of your enemies, Alyssa. Exorcism. Destroying sigils, aka, AKA the seals. Um, you can refill, you can refill, I can't even talk. You could refill at sacred jars or line drinking fountains. Um, a person who has died of unnatural causes has unfinished business in the living world. In order to protect yourself, you must work to heal their wounds. To do so, you must find their sentimental item. Lastly, this is all my fault, but I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world, and I will always, and I always will, Mum. 
it's just the uncensored version. <laughs> oh, you mean my language? I've been uncensored for years. Okay. Let's go get that door. Not that door. That door. I think you use triangle. Yes. Shatter in my face. Glass everywhere. Place is immaculately clean. Oh yeah, this is um a thing. I think I can do this now. Door's been boarded up. Let's go refill our thing. Which is a door right there. And right down there. Oop, right down there. You can save your game here. Yeah, we gotta save in one because two doesn't work very well. Uncensored? Wait, what? I don't remember what you guys are talking about. I'm old. I have no idea what's going on. Like, why is no an option to refill? Like, do you want to refill? Of course I want to fucking refill. Oh, I ad-libbed. Okay. Why do I not remember this? You guys remember better than I do, and I was the one that did it. So weird. Okay, I guess I can't do that bathroom thing right now. That's okay. Do it later. I think it's the computer you gotta check out. I wish I had one too. Oh no, it's the letter by the computer. That's right. Oh god, the camera. Not used to the camera. Oh, it's a picture. <laughs> Not a letter. Like, I'm gonna hang this up because... Like, well, if mom's dead... Maybe I could steal her fucking iMac. <laughs> God, the beds look so lumpy and gross. I came back home. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. You dumb girl. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum? I'm right here. Under the lumpy bed. <laughs> the gasp. <laughs> Alyssa's really terrified of piano music. Terrified of piano music. Who's playing that? Where's the sound coming from? Who's doing that? <laughs> it's like piano music. It's just like, oh my god, where is the noise coming from? I don't know where it's coming from. Just panic. Oh, teenagers. I don't even remember the ad libs, dude.
time for World War II. Boom. Pyro. Oh, suddenly the piano makes her feel calm after I just scared the shit out of her. <laughs> you dumb girl, how dare you come home? I got rid of you for a reason so I could be alone with my new boyfriend. Oh boy. anything over here. Wait, was there a, a thing here? There isn't anything down here, right? No. Okay. Something's hor ho yeah, whoring. Something's whoring the door closed. Holding the door closed. His skull is like completely bloody and like twisted and <laughs> and panic. The ring, give me back my ring. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Happy Friday. Spiritual healing. Yep. If it's a ring, put it in its case. If it's a half heart pendant, put it together with the other half. No hugs today. A sigil stone. And I believe that lets me take a hit, right? We'll take an attack on your behalf just once, yep. Cool. Save. How are you tonight, Cade? No way to avoid it. And dust begins again. To hear a piano, is it coming from that hall over there? Why, yes, yes it is. Longest door opening cutscene ever. I think there's something down here. Yes. Body here. Shit. Okay. 
Okay. And your pen. So that was the the fiance of the other guy. Oh my god, invisibility band. Still takes less time than outbreak slowing screens, that's true. I think there's something down here too. Crawl under the bridge. More lavender water. Before I go there, I think there's a fountain down here. Left, yes. We're gonna refill and then save because we're gonna go meet Sledgy. Those invisibility band moments. Heaven forbid I can't write in heaven without this pen, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't move on without their pen. It must have been a good pen. I mean, it was a fountain pen. Those are pretty fancy. Alrighty. say please go in the door okay <laughs> oh this is a high point okay so we just walk into it a clear curtain this is locked yes that's a letter Dad's letter. Dear May, how are you? I am now in France, in a region known as Champagne. It is a beautiful place, with vineyards as far as the eye can see. When the war is over, we must come here together for a holiday. I hear that they have organized for blackouts in London now. I am sure that you are fine during the day, as Jane is there. But I worry about you being alone at night. You'll be alright, won't you, darling? Keep warm. With love, Daddy. What happened to Jane? Does anyone know? I don't think they ever elaborated what happened to Jane. Oh, Jane. All the windows are blown out from the bombs. Okay, that's that. What's over here? Okay. Yeah, we're going the other way first. Come on. I think they're- okay, yeah, the fire poker. Key! Must be the owner of the house. Hmm. There's a key next to it. Red drawer key. That's a very important thing. Poker is still stuck in the pile of firewood. Somebody must have just been here. Oh yeah, there's a thing there. All the traps set in place so that way you can alert the enemy. More than enough books on the classics here. Desk is clean and well organized. Leave it to Alyssa to compliment how clean places are. 
Like, hmm, so clean. Oh, this is clean. Oh, must have just been cleaned. Clean, clean, clean! Nothing bad will ever happen here. So this is bloody and locked. There's May's blood. There we go. Christmas tragedy. Young pianist brutally murdered. Christmas Day, 1942, Paul Mall, May Norton, age 12, was found murdered in Norton's The Tailor. She was discovered by Norton family nanny Jane Stride. Okay, so they do mention Jane. Who returned home to find the victim unconscious, bleeding from the head. An autopsy has revealed that it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy, blunt object. No suspects have been named. The victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in Kensington. The pre previous day. A consummate pianist, Miss Norton, was widely tipped for first prize, but an unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. May had been living at home alone since her father, William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the front in July. Sucks. This is like the first time, I think, one of the first times Capcom ever showed a little girl getting killed. <laughs> yes, you did. Hi, Sledgy. Alisa! Oh yeah, fate points and hide points. Certain predetermined areas may start to go. These are evade points and hide points. Approach the area and press the search button to make Alyssa make evasive action to repel her attacker. It can only be used once. Well, evade points can only be used once. Hide points can be used multiple times. But if her panic reaches Max while in hiding, she will run out from her hiding place screaming bloody murder annoyingly. Oh, do I just... I think I just use it. I think I just use it. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Uh, there's so many things to read. There's a diary. Maze diary. December 5th. Today I darn daddy socks and sewed a bunch uh, yeah, sewed a bunch. Sewed a button on his shirt. He calls himself a tailor, but he can't even mend his own clothes. Please, Daddy, I'm not your wife. That's really gross. December 15th. Only a few more days until the concourse, and I still can't play it perfectly. What am I to do? I know Daddy is wishing me well from far away, so I must try my very best. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud. It's a diary, but there's two entries in the whole book. What a waste of pages. Invitation. Knock, knock. How does he know my name? Escape route's been blocked. What do I do? Alisa. I'll throw this chair at him like a badass. Alisa. <laughs> you gotta admit, she has guts.
She does have guts. Ooh. This controller, the toggle is like really like stiff, but like also sensitive. Like I find it's going to be my biggest problem in this game. Because this isn't the original controller I played with. Guts when she's not panicking, right? Like, why does that not make her panic, but, like, everything else does? I will never understand it. There he is! Whew. When the camera switches, that's when, like, it really fucks me up. I think there's a... thing somewhere around here? Damn it. I didn't want to hit those. I thought there was something around here. Okay. Am I crazy? Or am I thinking of, like, during the boss fight or something? Okay. Whatever. Yes, I've played this game on hard mode. It is stressful, but it's fun. You have to imagine, I played this game... I first got this game like 17 years ago. Just constantly save, that's all you can do. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, the boss on clear mode is... He's hard on regular mode, too, because you have to be, like, really consistently on top of things. Combination locks. Only one of them is locked, huh? All the lavender water. Stops playing. You could see it better than I can on my screen. It's like black on my screen. It does look nice on the bigger screen though. Compared to my Dazzle recording this. I thought this part was so rude when she would see her playing piano. Just a little girl and just scream. Like she's playing piano. She's not holding the knife at you. She's just crying and playing piano. Okay. Alicia, where are you? And then we're just gonna 
flip this. Body. I'm sorry, blood, then body. Wait, is it headless? I don't remember if it was headless. I don't think it was headless. Torso has been crushed. What a horrible death. A note is scribbled on a tiny scrap of paper. Safe combination. Bad. Babe, dead. So B is 1, A is 0, and D is 3. 103 is the combination code. On her defense, she is covered in blood, appeared out of nowhere. I guess. Put that back up, because we'll need to go up there. Alicia, where are you? Just taking the shit in the corner. Getting chased by a giant man with a sledgehammer. You just saw a kill little girl. Eh, whatever. Here's a piano. Oh my god, what is happening? That is actually a really good uh, comparison right there. There we go. Master key. I hate how you have to access it from going out here. Got some exploring to do. There we go. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wow, this doesn't tell me anything, does it? Well, kind of. Looks like the stairs are through the single door. Perhaps. I forget which door he comes down through. Maybe one of them's only... Let me see. This one's locked, I think. Okay, that's... We don't need to go there. We need to go this way. But... I think we need... I think this is the holy balls moment. Yep. I thought she went into the locker, like, after she checks it, but she does not. So now my panic meter's gonna go up. Alicia, where are you? I 
I didn't remember. Okay. If there was anything important there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Remember if there's anything. There's nothing over there. Okay. Very quiet theater. Nope. No entry. Locked on the other side. Oh yes, I know this. I wonder who invented this instrument anyway. Who thinks that, Alyssa? Who thinks that? Nothing inside. Better not touch those, I might get them dirty. So, that is a lovely piano. I think he bursts out. Yeah. And I gotta run back. Alice, where are you? Here we go. Now. And I hit him with the violin. Oh, I'm sorry. The violin hits the boxes. There's an item back here, I believe. Oh, wait. Back here. Yes. I don't think there was anything else important over there. Let me just squat here, because if you squat, you calm down faster. I love that there's a murderer after her. She's just casually admiring the clothing and instruments. <laughs> oh, you found a quick way to defeat most of the boss. It's easier on Sledgehammer. Once to pin the stalker to the arrow, get away after shoot another arrow quickly, press triangle. Huh. Oops. I don't think there's a... Yeah, that door you can't enter. Oh, don't hit that bottle. I wonder if he's gonna come back out and startle me. I don't remember if he does. No. Maybe here he does. I think here he does. He goes, Alyssa! Boom! Yes. Yep, okay. Hang on. Oh, I uh, it automatically equips. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, I get to meet the uh, minions now. That's right. Forgot about them. Yes. The light from the lantern illuminates the room. I forget. Oh, I need something on the, uh, on it, I believe. God, this is like a terrible controller to, uh, use for this. It's a little too sensitive. There we go. We need those. Now we gotta go back to Maze. Oh boy. Come on. Careful. Oh boy. Come on. Oh god. Okay. Go. Oh jeez. Damn butterflies. try to get now. Oh, good. Oh, come on! Oh, I have none. Oh, lavender water, please. You don't want to panic. I just like glitched through his. Alice, where are you? Oh boy. Oh boy. No, no, no. No, no, no. I think they're out here too. Yes, use the master key. Get the fuck out of here. That was close. <laughs> okay, not over yet. He's still chasing us. Alisa. We gotta go get some holy water. Which is right out here. And we're gonna save. Even though he's right there. Off, sludgy. Got them both. No butterflies, thank you. Okay. 
Now we gotta go up. Alisa. Probably should have hid first, but you know. Reasonings. Oh. Actually. Come here. I got a fire poker with your name on it. There we go. Boof. Nice. That's right. Fuck yeah. I think he gets up pretty quick from that one though, so we're just gonna head on out. Better than hiding. Like, if you start making progress, they will endlessly pursue you. Whereas if you hit an evade point like that, they're down for, like, a couple seconds. And there's a door. Yes. Sealed off with barbed wire. Use pliers. I know, right? Why can't we keep it? The box. Carved wooden box. Let's open it. A picture. you something important. Daddy's going off to war. War? War? I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. I feel dreadful. I'll be all right. But, but what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Yes. Yes, I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That will be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Listen. You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again. <laughs> Sad, I don't think he ever came back home, and then she died. Yeah, he died at war. Terrible way to die. Sucks. I got the pocket watch. Still more inside. Hammer killer hang. September 10th, 1941, Robert Morris, 32, the man known as Hammer Killer, has been hanged. Rumors regarding Morris's death are widespread. One witness reported he was hanging for a very long time, pulling on the straps and making unearthly noises. Well, wouldn't anybody if they were getting hanged? I don't know. And blood was oozing through the black cap. The stench was terrible. Some witnesses fainted and were carried out. Morris's first victim was Tony Flanagan, 35, a fellow employee at the Banbury Stone Cutting Factory. 
On June 6, 1940, Moore suddenly struck Flanagan on the head with a hammer, killing him instantly. All five workers present were killed in the same manner. Morris disappeared thereafter. A string of similar crimes occurred until the time of Morris's arrest on March 6th in Arlington, Hampshire. Morris's victims numbered 12, and no clear motive had been determined. Specialists continue to be baffled by the seemingly abrupt change in his behavior, as well as the extreme violence of his crimes. He was just insane. He's just just a little insane. That, that's all. Maybe I can save May if I get her father's pocket watch to her. I have to take the pocket watch to the concert hall. Do I say anything about the piano? Piano must have been used for practicing on. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll take that. For the final boss. Yes, please. Is there anything on the table? No. Not gonna admire how clean it is, Alyssa? Okay. Wait, wasn't there a... There's another door. Yeah. This leads out here. Shortcut, shortcut. There we go. Because if you run back through the house... I don't think he appears again, because now we're leading to the boss. But... Yeah, I think all the enemies have stopped. I think that's it. I think now it's just boss time. beginning where the little girl gets hit in the head the sledgehammer always surprised me how fucking violent this game went yeah why can't we keep that even if it's not hot anymore it's still hard and pointy seriously better yet why can't we keep the bow and arrow for the out throughout the entire game why does it only have to be during freaking um boss fights Well, I got to this part in, like, less than an hour. Not bad. Let's go defeat Sledgy. Seriously, you didn't answer my question. Like, why did you kill her? Alyssa likes splashing water instead. Best weapon, she thinks. <laughs> Boss battles. Okay, so you shoot arrow with triangle. Charge by holding triangle down. Hold down triangle button with enemy transfixed for a super attack. R1 is a special attack, so I don't want to hit those yet, because that's my special arrows. I don't want to use them yet. I want to save them for the boss fight. Duck is circle. <sighs> In order to defeat the enemy, you must transfix it by hitting the enemy with a charged arrow. Hold triangle down. It's possible to fix them to a, the spot. Several strategy place chains will transfix the target. Aim so that the chains fan out from the target. It should be in the center. While the enemy is transfixed, Alyssa is able to carry out a super attack. It is no easy task, however, to hit the target with the arrow. Watch the enemy's movements closely. Wait for your chance. Duck can be used to avoid attack by certain enemies. It may also cause them to become careless and vulnerable to attack. So I don't want to hit R1. It is wise to save these weapons for special occasions. The game knows. The game's like, we'll tell you how to use it, but... Don't use it. <laughs> now she turns into Sailor Moon. <laughs> 
I think that was that was what someone said. Did someone say that last time on the chat? Turns in the Sailor Moon. Magical girl time. Booby potion activate. Form of bow and arrow. She questions none of this. Fighting criminals by moonlight. She has no idea what's going on, but she's just she's just doing it. Just doing her thing. Twenty-six victims. Sentenced to four hundred and eighty-six years. Time to charge this up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I got. I, I forgot about that. I got a duck. Damn it! I can't get my space from him. Oh! I thought he was gonna do his thing. Okay, so when he says die is when... <laughs> Not charged up enough yet. Damn it. Damn it. He got loose. Nope! Get off me! I forgot he does that. Oh, that is not fair. Come on. There we go. Woo. Avoiding love by daylight. Never panic from a real fight. She is the one named Melissa. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> 
smoking. Clover of Love. So now our uh, holy water has gained strength. Like throwing that little bit in the story. As a memento of your father, and continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. Also, your bloody ponytail was in my face. Can you not? I always thought these parts Thank were you, so May. sweet. It was so satisfying. Your playing has brought me back to you. At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I'll never understand why she passed out after that. Like, never. And how she's, like, sleeping on the bed the wrong way. Like, what the fuck? What kind of drugs did I just take? Am I in college? <laughs> what was that? Have I been dreaming? Yes. Yes, you have. Dreaming about getting killed. Yeah, we just saved. But let's save again. I never knew my father, so I know just how it feels when your father goes off to war and dies while you stayed here alone and got murdered. I love that. <laughs> Oh, you know who's coming in now? Our friend. Dennis, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hurry up. Oh, hurry. I gotta open the window. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's so ridiculous. He's like the comic Thought relief. Was a goner for sure. Long time no see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years. What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. 
It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When? And where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday morning and your Oof. mother drove by in her car. Oh, and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well, it looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on. That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? He's so sporadic. He looks... Yeah, he's like Ron Weasley. Hi, Slash. You're happy Friday. Dick's room key. Let's go to Dick's room. I believe it's downstairs. I think it's downstairs. Isn't it downstairs? Yeah. All these old books, what was he studying? Oh, you'll find out. You wish you didn't. These masks are unnerving. Looks like a mask used to hang here. Yep. Scribbled note. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. The Book of Entities 1. Okay, this isn't the one he reads. Entities have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul, and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and their subordinates, the Rooters. Rooters, who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. I'm starting to think taking drugs isn't too big of a Entities. stretch. Rooters? Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness? Why teenagers? Why? What, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's like, that? Like, God, I haven't had sex yet, and now I gotta go defend everybody. Entity? What's an entity? And the Ruders? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. You It'll broke like into my house. Days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she traveling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said She's she won't dead. be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. I'm going through your panty drawer. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. He's going through her panty drawer. Don't let him lie to you. There's something hidden behind the picture frame. Winding keys. 
these old books, old books, all the old books. Okay. Teenage girl standing against the force of darkness. Buffy? <laughs> Might as well be. Filled with art and antiques. Grandfather used to collect that kind of thing. Okay. There's a clock in the dining room. Who could have locked it? Funny, I went to look downstairs and... Wait, was there a clock in that... In his room? I forgot. We're in here. I forget where to use the winding keys. Grandfather. Aha. An order from the camera shop. Somebody bought lots of film. Drawer is locked. Where else is there a clock? Those are winding keys. I think they're for clocks. Now I don't remember. Or is it in Nancy's room? Philip. Father's room? Why does... The mother and the father have their own separate rooms. Locked. Alyssa didn't have a clock, right? I don't think so. Also, Dennis, where the fuck are you? Probably take care of this now. <laughs> Hang on a second. Stone. What on earth is that doing here? Oh, well, no one's ever using this bathroom again, that's for damn sure. Maybe it's the mother's room. Must have left in a hurry. The wardrobe door is still open. Clock. Clock. Three clock. Yep, use the winding keys. Oh yeah. 
it's weird. It only goes forward so much and backwards so much, so. Right. Let's see if I can remember this. Wow. After all these years, I still remember this goddamn thing. I didn't remember where the clock was, but I remember that. The Red Room. Strange medicine bottles. All kinds of books about witchcraft and hexes. Strange medicine bottles. The book. Wow, that's a talent you didn't mess it up. Hey, I'm good at some things. Portal squares. Drawing the portal square is instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with light may the practitioner expect any groundbreaking ground results. Okay. Papers with geometric patterns scatter the desk. There's a strange pattern on the ground. What on earth was mummy doing here? Mummy's a witch! So... Hop on in! Save point? Yes. Okay. So. I know that we just started having fun. But I think this is where we're going to stop for tonight. Because if I keep going, I'll just keep going and going and going. And I need some rest. So. We will pick this up next week. And we will defeat Acid Man. Sound good? I know, I know. It sucks. It sucks. But I gotta get up early, and it's like I, my bedtime and stuff. So, <laughs> getting old sucks. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you like this nostalgia trip that I'm taking. I'm, I'm doing a really hard nostalgia trip this year. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, take care. Have a good weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.